since there's no fizz, it's not carbonated, right? But and we can smell it. That's what we we're can. Doing. And then, and yes. when we smell again, yeah, mm -hmm. it smells like a laundry room. It smells it smells clean, like when my when uh, my family washes white clothes. Yes, it is. A or clean smells like a swimming pool area. Oh, definitely yeah. smells like a swimming pool. Stronger smell than that. Strong yep. smell, strong, clean smell. I, I think we associate. And you can with smell the, the um, chlorine in mm -hmm. it for sure. And that's why it smells that's like, like a pool. That's why it smells like a pool. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what is some, um, when we take our observations, what can we, what inferences can we make? Hmm. Well, uh, wait, we can also observe it's, it, this is also a liquid. Oh, it's a liquid. Well, it's because a liquid it's, it changes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, shape. Shape of it. Yep. Okay. So, um, hmm. Hmm. Well, I think the smell is really strong. I think to me, that's like a sign that it could be poison. Could be dangerous, yeah. right? Yeah. So, right. I think the soda barely had you know, really yeah, strong smell was, at all. It was pretty weak. But, yes, yeah, strong smells are an indicator of kind of stay away. Yes. Um, it didn't have any fizz, so we can infer that there is no yeah. carbon dioxide in it. No, no CO2. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, what about if it's a base or acid? Can we make ah, that? Well, I well, go ahead. I was going <laughs> to say, the only way we could tell that is if we stuck our hands in it and felt if it was soapy or not. Mm -hmm. And so we're not going to put our hands in there. But that would be but one way we can tell. But it's something that we might already uh, have heard about. I do know with soda, they talk about soda being acidic and can be bad for your teeth and breaking down your teeth. So, yeah. All right, now, what are we going to do for our observation here? Well, now we're going to pour our Clorox into our beaker of soda, um, and we're going to watch and see what happens. Hmm. So, so we're going to make observations first. Oh, can we, before we do that? Yes. Remember we said this was dark because of the caramel Coloring, color? Yes. Okay, and so have you think ever about that. on your clothes? Yep. Uh, okay, so let's see what happens. Stop. Should we think what we think is going to happen? Oh, make a prediction. Oh, perfect. Yes. yes. What's okay. our prediction? If we pour the bleach into the soda, let's then what? the <laughs> soda is going to turn a different color. And might predict that because what do we know about bleach? Bleach will it either changes light, things changes different colors, color. <laughs> washes it out, or take or remove up. lightens things. Reduce right. Things. That's why you don't ever want to put like your blue shirt in with your um, bleach because then you'll get white spots all over it. Right? Yes. So, so let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh wait, I gotta get my. All right, go. Let's go. Safety. Oh wait. I just want to see if it works again. <laughs> the okay. saying that is not funny. Okay, let's go. Oh, look. Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. It's already turned to Ooh, look at that. Much lighter. Holy moly. Wow. That is really pretty color. It's, it's such good. a pretty yellow. One thing I observed right away, it changed really fast. It was a quick change. Very quick to lighten up. Yes. It's still you think it's going to keep getting lighter the longer it sits? I think it will for a, another minute or two. I think and then so. I think it looks might. pretty clear. I it? bet it's not going to get as, I think it'll probably get just as light as the bleach started off as. I don't think yeah. it will get any lighter than that. It's hey, might, uh, why don't we pour a little bit of bleach in this beaker and make that comparison? Oh, perfect. And let's see what happens. Great idea, Miss Sweeney. We can put them beside each other. Let me get my glasses on for yes, my please. protection. All right, that's good. Now let's set it over here. So are they the same color? Very close, I bet Not you. Not quite, but really close. Very close. So our observation, the color of the soda lightens quickly when the bleach is introduced. What else do we notice? It, what's the, what is that? Yeah. Do we smell any soda? No. I don't smell any soda. No, no it's soda. pretty, pretty much the, 
the G chlorine. Yeah, chlorine has Clorox. a chlorine smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The bleach smell is the stronger smell. Definitely like a pool again. So, and what color is it? It's a really pretty light yellow. And remember all of the bubbles we had with the soda? Yep, they're gone. All the bubbles are gone. I mean, none left. I think when that strong smell came out, it just all, all the gases gone. just came out with it. So now we've got our observations. What are some, let's make some connections. Why do we think that the color lightens so quickly? Yes, because of the chemical that is made up of the Clorox. Um, it, it lightens things and because caramel, um, Sugar, mm -hmm. the caramel syrup, is a dark color. We are going to add that light color chemical to it. It's going to take away its color. And that makes sense because we know that this is great for getting stains out of anything that's white. So when I get my stain on this, inevitably, I'm going to end up having to use bleach to remove that stain, remove that color. And this is a chemical reaction because yes. we can't undo it. If we try to pour this into a different beaker, we wouldn't be able to get our soda back out of it. So a chemical reaction has occurred and it cannot be undone. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're kind of, now we've ruined our Coke <laughs> yes. and we can't have anything to do with it. We can't even dump it down our sink. No. We have to dispose of it in a different way. Special way. So when a chemical reaction occurs, a lot of things change and they're not able to be undone. So that's what we have observed here today. So we know that we're, making connections based on our observations. We know that the chemical in the bleach took away the color of the soda. The chemical reaction occurred and you cannot undo that chemical reaction. So just from something as simple as using two household items, um, you can do science. Science happens all the time in your house, all right. happens everywhere you go every day. There are science experiments that you don't even know you might be taking part in. So mostly an important thing for you to remember when you are here in Lincoln Middle School is that don't, don't get caught up on science is, you know, I gotta do some writing, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Science Observe. is observing and, and using your brain and making your inferences. We're glad you could join us and we're looking forward to learning more with you and exploring some more science. See you next time. Yeah, bye. bye. bye.